ready result post it is wow and the return loss is nearly minus 36 so it's a dual band it's for this antenna is working with dual band one is our 8.4 gigahertz and uh, another is 15.2 gigahertz good 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 and you can check the bandwidth exactly at the um, minus 10 db but we don't have 10 db here no problem you can change the scale and check the bandwidth and the next thing is wait sorry wait for that in order to check the gain of this radiation insert path field report in net sphere change it to 360 here that's okay then insert create path field report 3 polar plot gain 3 db oh, 4.77 it's okay better not bad and in order to check the efficiency of this antenna we have to check the directivity also create power field report 3d polar plot create pt in db it's 4.89 wow now gain by directivity is called efficiency you can calculate the efficiency of the antenna gain by gain by directivity so this gain we are calculating it is 4.775 divided by directivity it's 4.8905 it's 97.6 efficiency 97.6 percent efficiency has been achieved by this angle and the next thing is we can check the variation pattern also variation pattern gain db and for each and every angle we can calculate we can see the radiation pattern for c d c for zero degree only four oh, radiation pattern looks better we can mark it here and one more thing is it's 4.775 and we should always uh, remember that a gain which we have got is 4.7777 and the radiation pattern should always be same whatever the gain we achieved radiation pattern also should resemble the same value magnitude is 4.775 and one more thing that we can check is voltage standing wave ratio and voltage standing wave ratio should be always less than 2 and we should check it how much this antenna is going to be stuck with R mm, it's quite difficult to find so we shall change the scaling Mm, to the three excuse me so that you can easily find the voltage standing wave ratio sorry 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 spacing 0.1 that's it and at 8.4 gigahertz it's voltage standing wave 1.03 wow at each antenna gains a voltage standing wave ratio exactly one that's great. It's a good design. And this is 1.1. And we cannot do it's not for we can find, but it's not worth to find the voltage and ratio for this because it's not exceeding the uh, it's not exceeding minus 10 dB to loss. So only these two bands are exceeding minus 10 dB. And so we are calculating VHWR for these two 1.03, 1.06, and that's voltage ratio. And that's it. Thanks for watching my video. Thank you.